The Accounts Receivable Dashboard gives you a high-level view of your overall ageing, starting with the largest overdue, 30 to 59 days in this caption, overdue 1 to 29 days. These ones are due sometime in the next 30 days and these ones are not due for 30 days. Gives you a nice future and in particular you can focus on keeping these overdue ones down to a small portion of your pie. Another way of looking at that same data is to have those ageing buckets lined up as a bar chart. Overdue 30 to 59 days, 1 to 29 days, due in the next 30 days, due 30 plus days. This particular one is focusing on top five customers. So if you've got a small number of large customers, this could be quite useful to just get a very quick snapshot. A to Z stationery has a huge chunk in the overdue and a little bit coming up. This bright green one, Cameron, they might have quite a lot outstanding, but it's actually not due yet. So you can quickly see who the problem ones are. The red one, the orange one, and then this purple one. So A to Z, My Town, and then Island Way. As I said, useful if you've got a small number of large customers who can have some fairly chunky amounts, sometimes getting overdue. Another way of looking at the same data is to have it in a tab format. So by having all of these three graphics together, they can give you an overall sense of where your receivables are at. But you can quickly also identify any key individual customers who are causing the issue. So down here, again, we're seeing our top five customers. Nothing's actually overdue in these 90 and 60 days, but in the 30 days, as we said, we saw A to Z stationary. So here we can see actual amounts. So that's the overall accounts receivable dashboard.